Hello everybody and welcome back to me channel. So I don't really know how this video is going to turn out because I've never really done a video like this before. But anyways, have you ever wondered while playing the game Minecraft if the game's gravity physics makes sense? Well, what I'm doing today is just taking a look at them and deciding if they are realistic or not. You know, just to see. Now, y'all probably already know that you could survive a fall from around 21 blocks in the game. What is a block, you may ask, if you don't already know somehow? Well, it's one meter cubed, which makes our calculations much easier to do, so thanks Minecraft for doing that, I guess. Anyways, a Siberian flight attendant holds the Guinness World Record for surviving the highest fall without a parachute falling from about 10,160 meters. But that was most likely because of formations such as spreading your limbs to minimize speed and landing materials such as trees. In Minecraft, it's a different story than that. It's just a straight fall onto literal stone. So with Minecraft's gravity, does it seem feasible to survive a fall like that with no broken bones at all? Well, let's find out. Now actually, Minecraft's terminal velocity has already been calculated and well spread around the internet to be 32 meters a second for mobs and players and 16 meters per second for items and entities. But I went ahead and tested anyways, just to make sure if it was true and not old info. So I built a 120 meter tall drop in creative mode to test it. These emerald blocks mark each 32 meter interval of the fall. Using the formula that my awesome science teacher provided, we can plug in the height of the fall, the terminal velocity, and zero because terminal velocity, or as my science teacher once said, scientists likes their zeros, we get this. Divide both sides of the equation by 256, and we get an average of 4 meters a second. And with this equation, we don't have to plug in a uh, time, we just get our gravity, so. But that is an average, so times by two to get the normal gravity, eight meters a second squared. So with this information in mind, we can get started. For the first test, I put myself 21 meters above the ground. Now remember, 21 meters is actually around like this high, that's the closest representation I could find, and yeah, it's pretty high. And as you can see, I survived with about one heart of health left, or two health points total. But as you can see, I can walk and run perfectly fine right after. No broken bones at all. But, how much force would it take to break your leg, to be exact? Well, you would need around 4,000 newtons of force to break your typical leg. So that's where our calculations semi be end. With my character, being around six foot six inches, we can use the average mass of a six and a half foot tall man being around 214 pounds or 97 kilograms and plug it into this equation, which gives us an all time gravity force of 776 newtons. So we see that Minecraft's newton per kilogram is actually lighter than Earth, but just you wait and see. So this is where the problem begins. Our character upon hitting the ground instantly stops momentum. No rolling, no bending, nothing. So I decided to take it as if there was at least one frame of deceleration because it would make our calculations impossible if we didn't really have a deceleration time. And so, with my game running at a smooth 60 FPS, we divided one by 60 to get 0 0.016 of seconds of deceleration time which is like nothing. Now with all of that information at our disposal, we can take the terminal velocity and times it by this number, and we get 2000. Now if we times my man's mass by this number, we would get the total force of his fall. And the answer to all of this is 194,000. Wait, that's literally 194,000 newtons of force. You know how I said that it would take 4,000 newtons to break your typical leg? From this fall? No, you'd be shattered into a thousand pieces. 
just smeared across whatever you fell on, covering all the animals in your guts. And you can survive a fall from over a hundred blocks if you have the enchanted boots and hay. How soft would that hay have to be anyways? It's not like falling any higher would change the terminal velocity, but still. The point is, is that hey Minecraft, I think your gravity doesn't really make much sense. Or, to be more specific, I think the deceleration time is not really possible to survive, with especially without any broken bones. That is what would kill you in the end. As my science teacher also said, quoting him once again, it's not the fall that kills you, it's the landing that kills you. Anyways, there would be no way that you could survive that. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys later, I guess. Um, before the video ends, I just wanted to say that if any of my calculations were off, I used a rougher sort of rounding method to make it a little easier, i.e. 0.016 is actually 0.01666666666. But if you find any of my other calculations that were really off, you can comment down below and I'll check it out. I used the most common FPS values instead of 240 FPS because it just made more sense. But with that, have a good day.